Okay, welcome to Mr. Twisted Wheeler's world. The world of Honda ATC three wheelers. Let's start up here. This is a 1985 70cc that is a custom little 125cc, a 125M, electric start, floating fenders, the seats being done, and kind of curious to see how fast that little thing's going to go. Here's some other little 70s. There's an 84 four speed. There's a 1980 with a four speed in it. Here's an 83 with a four speed. There's an 86 with a four speed. And another 85 with a four speed. Anybody like 250Rs? These bad dogs. That's what I'm talking about. Let's start with this one here. It's a 1981. We call it the Death Maker. It's got a powder coated frame, rebuilt motor. Plastics are just kind of on there for now and just to see what it would look like. I wanted to take her for a spin. This is a 1981 ATC 250R. Runs like a top. Pretty cool little graphics and skulls. And then this bad boy. This is my 86 all chromed out. Chrome plated every nut and bolt on the whole damn machine. And let's give you guys a little listen of what this thing sounds like. So I know some of you guys have seen the videos of it actually racing the Banshee. Let's uh yeah, I sunk almost 10 grand into this silly thing. Hasn't been beat by a four wheeler yet. Don't know if it will. This is another 86 250R that I have. This thing's ported and polished also to a stage 3 39mm carburetor on it, FMF exhaust, reed spacers, poison reeds. And this thing hasn't been beat by a four wheeler yet. It's got a plus four axle on it. That one has a plus six. This is my 81 250R. The tires on the back were actually donated partially by a cowboy's cycle. I'm actually going to take this thing for a water skip. And uh, the boys at Cowboy Cycle think I'm going to drown, so he gave me a good deal on the tires just to watch it happen. So I'm going to hit the water at about 70 miles an hour and see what happens. Here is a Racing 200X. This was all built back in the day. It's actually a leather seat on there. It's pretty neat. It's got the racing fenders, the plastics. It's got the plastic gas tank, tank flares, powder coated blue. Neat little thing. They put a 185S motor in it so they could run the 200X and the 185 or the 200 series and under under 200cc class. Even has an a speedometer on it. Just pretty sick. Pretty neat to find one. Yeah this thing doesn't weigh very much. It's all plastic tank everything else. That 185S motor in there and whoever built the motor did a really nice job on it. Here's a, everybody needs one of these, 250SX's in their collection. Gotta have the 250SX. Things are nice. Here's a 200 ES Big Red 1984. Runs like a top. You can see it needs a little upholstery work and maybe some plastics and some paint. But yeah, she's a trooper and it's a good runner actually. Here is a 1978 US, or this is just a 90, Honda ATC 90. Kind of neat. 
This is a 185S, 1983. That's how everything should run. Half a pull, one kick. Here's a 83-110. Here's an 84-125M electric start and everything else. It's actually a really nice machine. And here's a 1984 Honda 110. Definitely needs some work. But for being crappy looking little thing. Hers like a kitten. And I guess the word 200 says it all in there. That's a 1982 200 series Honda. This is my 86 200X. These things are getting harder and harder to find, especially the 86s. This is a nice little runner too. Here is the 1985 200S. Another neat little machine. It's an 85, it's not a crack, just a scratch in it. Here's another 200 ES, 1984, just like the other one, electric start. So that's a little plastic work. One broken fender there, not so bad. This is a 1971 US 90. I converted the back tires, it has the original axle in it still. Converted it with some axle adapters that I had. Put a 110 front end on it. I still have the original red from 1971. I just wanted a headlight on it, so I switched out the front end on it. And this thing purrs like a kitten, too. Gotta remember this 1971. Half a pull, pups right to life. Cute little rig. And this is what started it all. This is a 1970 US 90. Honda ATC with the original balloon tires on it all the way back from 1970. Seat needs a little work, not too concerned about that. Front fender needs a little work too. A cute little unit. 1970, baby. There it is, boys. Welcome to Mr. Twisted Wheeler's world. Long live the Honda ATC three-wheelers. Don't get any better than this.